What is happening, y'all? Fez here with another episode of Days Gone. I haven't unpaused it yet, just because uh, we're in the middle of some dialogue from the last episode. Um, we are in the middle of uh, Iron Mike's camp. We just ex uh, discovered this, and you know we infiltrated it. We weren't cool before, but maybe we're cool now, and they're not going to shoot us. So let's see what happens. You call this a bike? It may not be a fancy drifter bike, but it gets the job done. Get on. And now we're about to go get Boozer because they uh they wanted us to bring him in to help with his arm, which maybe we can save Boozer after all. I hope so. I like Boozer. A little bit crazy, but uh seems like a pretty good guy. So how's she doing? The girl that I brought in, Lisa. Are you, are you gonna take me to see her? No. God damn it, Ricky. What what the hell? Why not? I can't. She's not here. Wait, wait, hold on for a second. Where is she? A few days ago, Schizo assigned her to a scavenge run. She and three others headed over to the road camp to look for supplies. They came back without her. You're telling me they left her? They left her out in the shit? They didn't leave anyone. They said she ran off. Jesus! It could have been anything. Wolves, freaks, rippers. Choose your poison. And what, what, what was Schizo thinking, sending her out on a supply run? Everyone's gotta work, Deke. That's the deal, and you know it. I don't believe this shit. Look, she'd been surviving in Marion Forks for years when I found her. Yeah, then maybe you should have left her there. Dang. Lisa's running off, running off again. Who's there? Hey. Get back, don't make me blow your goddamn Loser. head off. It's me. No, get back! Oh. Hey. Hey, it's, uh, it's Ricky. <laughs> you remember me? I rode with you guys a year ago. Ricky. What? Tumalo? Yeah. That's the... Tumalo to Lost Lake? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. That's right. How, how you doing there, Loser, you doing uh, all right? Just PG. It still didn't give you the right to steal our shit. Are you kidding me? Look at his arm. What was I supposed to do? Huh? I don't know. Maybe ask. Jesus. Look at you guys, the biker boys. The most badass drifters in this shit, right? And now you come back crawling to Iron Mike. Oh, wait. If he'll let you. <laughs> come on, just help me get him back to Addy. Let's go. Come on, pal. I don't need your help. <clears throat> Ricky. Yeah, Boozer Ricky. Boozer's freaking jacked, too. Way more jacked than uh, our boy Deacon. Hop on up, old booze man, back into the to the nail bat you go. Wait, where, where are we going? Addie said she's agreed to, to take a look at your arm and, and see what she can do. What? No. No, you're not taking me to some goddamn camp. I can ride, damn it. We're not sa damn it. Boozer, it's just for a few days. Get some shit for your arm and then No. You know what it's like there, Deke. No, you're not thinking straight. This isn't the hot springs. This is Lost Lake. Iron Mike. Remember him? Iron Mike? He was gonna get us killed. You said. That was a long time ago. They built the place up. They, they got more people. We're all gonna fucking die. We'll be long gone before anything like that happens. Camp's got the only dock in a hundred miles. Now, Addie, just look. She'll take care of it. Just, just a couple of days. Yeah, then we ride the hell out of here. Right north. Like you said, get the hell away from all this. Yeah. Yeah, we ride north. Leave all this shit behind. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and check on him and make sure he's okay. Coward. Yeah, you got that right. Well, how long? And until he can ride, I mean. 
You mean how long do you have to be here? Look, we have antibiotics, but it's not enough. If Iron Mike lets you stay, your friend will have a chance. All right. So we got a sweet talk, Iron Mike. So what happened? How'd he burn his arm like that? We ran into some rippers south of Belknap. Guess they didn't like his tattoos. Jesus. I've heard about them doing shit like that to themselves, but not to people they're trying to recruit. <sighs> Boozer wasn't any goddamn recruit. Oh, uh, guess Tucker should have made a deal with them like Iron Mike. Come on, Ricky. He just he doesn't get it. Carlos isn't going to honor any deal with Lost Lake, not for long anyway. And Mike, he just doesn't see it. He sees more than you think. You've always had your good side, Deke. You've just been doing your best to kill it. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Are you at Iron Mike? You cannot believe a word he is going to say. Addie is soft. Mike, we do not have enough for those that pull their own weight, let alone a goddamn cripple. He's oh, not a cripple. On. He can work. He... I say we throw them out on their asses. Mike, that is not who we are. Jesus. Listen to you. And you. You tired of being Tucker's little bitch, finally? Raymond, huh? stop it. Don't call me that. I'm pretty tired, all right. All right, See? enough! See? You know who the fuck this guy is, and you know what he- You hold on! And you! You put that shit away. Oh, well, that went well. Deacon was I one that know. brought me the good. I know. And I know what kind of man he is. What he's done. He done any worse than you? Ricky? How about me? We've all been out in this shit, Schizo. We've all done things we're not proud of. We need another rider. Oh, now, wait a minute. I just need a few days and some antibiotics. I'll do whatever it takes. Sure, Mike. Whatever you say, I'm on board. Walk with me. A nice setup here, man. Don't start with me. So you're the one who brought them in. I didn't bring them in, Schizo. Boozer needed like help. an old cabin. But he broke into the infirmary. Ricky you told me you stopped to running for Tucker. Oh, Sent that so little girl I here instead. Addie, I'm so sorry I lied to you before about doing runs for Tucker. No, How long you been drifting? You and Bill. I don't know. Like I said, time gets lost. Your folks don't put down some roots. Figure this shit out. Grow some food. Come next spring, won't be none of us left. If you give Boozer what he needs, let us hold up here till he can ride. Like I said, I will do whatever you need. I just, I, I want you to know that as soon as he's patched up, we're going to put together some gear, we're going to ride north. North, huh? There's a camp up there near Smith Rock. Boozer's never been there. Anyway, got a lot of ghosts down here. It's time we move on. Fresh start, eh? Yeah, I can respect that. Now go on. Leave me be. I got some thinking to do. <laughs> sure, Mike. Yeah, whatever you say. Just have Ricky radio me if you need something. Custom skin. Oh, we already had the drifter crossbow. Is that a different one? Okay. 
No skill point. Oh, regenerate stamina for every melee kill. Come back to that one. We're probably going to do that one, though. Okay, survival. Tell you what, we're going to do uh, Eagle Eyed, actually. For now. Alright, let's go see what Addy wants. Deacon, hey. Is everything okay? What's wrong? Uh, actually, that's not why I'm here. Okay. Came by to see if there's anything you need for the uh, infirmary. Actually, we're running low on everything. I mean, we could always use more meds, sterile bandages, instruments. Uh, here. Hmm. A Liston knife. Yeah, it was used by doctors in the Civil War to perform operations in the field. Operations? Yeah, you know, when they didn't have any anesthesia or laudanum. I wrote down where you might be able to find one. <laughs> it's the brochure for the Visitor Center at Sherman Sherman's Camp. Sherman's Camp, yeah, yeah, the plate's crawling with all the freakers. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, uh, Deacon. <sighs> Thank you. Addie's nice. She seems to be like the main reason we're even allowed in this camp, so we should help her out. Head to Sherman's camp. The place is gonna be crawling. Hey, hey, uh, see if I there's any new weapons. You. I heard you riding in last night with Ricky, and uh, who's that guy? Boozer. Or his name is William or Bell. Uh, I've always just called him Boozer. Don't ask why. I wasn't. I mean, is he gonna be okay? I stopped by to say hi to Addy. He didn't look so good. Yeah, he's gonna be fine as soon as he's patched up. We're riding north, you got that? So just drop it, okay? Okay, way better weapons than uh, the other camps, seems like. Yeah, good. Yep. Yep, that's nice. Okay. All right. So we should probably work right. on getting our trust up here. See ya. On that note, let's see if we have any bounties yeah. to turn in, and we have hey, one. None of my business, but literally one. I heard you were back. <laughs> Didn't think that would happen. Uh, okay. See ya. All right. Now let's check the bike. Oh, Ricky's the mechanic here. Okay. Oh no, she's the she's a job giver. I got you. Tanks over here. Shit, make it quick. Hey, got fuel if you need it. You got a level two engine. We need level one trust. Yeah, they have much more, much more gear here. Good to know. If you remember what you want. Later. All right, where is Sherman's camp? Right up here. Okay. Hey. Let's head on up there and see if we can uh, clear out those freakers. Hey. Hold on. Is anyone on this channel? Oh, 
O'Brien, is that you? Yes, yeah, it's, it's O'Brien. You still want my radio's good. Okay, look, I'm gonna try and help you. Find out about the woman. Sarah Whitaker. I put her on your chopper that night. Yeah, 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 I know, okay, but first, you gotta do something for me. Wait, what? You need something from me? Look, there's a digital display on your radio. I'm going to send you a coded message, coordinates. Meet me at that location. O'Brien, what the hell is this all about? Just meet me there. There will be Nero soldiers all around me like before. So don't let them see you. O'Brien out. <laughs> oh, shit, that's right. I gotta finish burning out these nests. I'll come back later and finish burning out these nests. Deacon St. John, you out there? We got a job for you here at Peaceful Lake. Copeland. Yeah, okay. Um, I'll head your way. St. John out. Here it is. Yeah, it looks like there's uh, going to be quite a bit of zombies here. Ada Tucker to Deacon St. John. Come in. Deke, you out there? Hey, Tuck. Uh, you got a job for me? Okay. I'll swing by. Deacon out. Visitor's center. Gotta find a way inside. Let's see if we can find these nests while we're here as well. Where is it? God damn nest. That's gotta be close. Yep. There she is. And I'm on fire. I think we can get uh, incendiary bolts for our crossbow later, so that will be that will be cool. We can do that because we won't have to rely on molotovs to destroy nests at that point. Recharge. Uh, it's hard to hit with that pistol when you're not in focus. That's it. Oh, he's eating one of his own. Wow. After I killed it. The zombies are wild, man. Okay, am I out of the zone? Doesn't look like it. Let's see if we can get some ammo. What are these guys doing?
Nothing in here, really. Find the rest of these nests. Gotta be close to a nest. Whew, I can smell it. Yeah, I see it on the map. Okay. Nest. Whew. Gotta be right around here. Yeah. One more suppressor. Sadly. The other one's close by as well, which is nice. Very nice. Okay. Let's find another way in. I think that way will work. Through the window it is. It's up. Is it upstairs? This is where we just were. How do we get up there? Alright, here we go. the infestation needs you to get off my screen. I'm not to die here. I'm on fire. Okay, there we go. Got it. Alright, we've cleared out the nest, so let's go see about this mission. Top car for some ammo, please. This is the place. Let's find a way in. Well. Doesn't look like that's going to be extremely easy. So. Is there a ladder here? Nope. Door's locked. Door's locked. Oh, there's a ladder. Can we shoot it down? Okay, yeah, maybe. There we go. <laughs> Gotta be in here somewhere. Down here. Not much left. This place has been picked over clean. That looks like the knife. Liston knife. This is it. Gotta get it back to Addy. Alright. Let me open this door from the inside. Okay, thank you. Let's 
go back to the bike, heal up, and then we will fast travel back to Addy. We gotta meet O'Brien. Let's go do this first. Thank you, Deacon. You have no idea how badly we need this. Hey, look. No problem. Here. Glad to help. Open the damn gate. <laughs> One of the biker boys. One of the biker boys. My first one. Hey there. How's it work? Hello. Hey. Oh, here's that knife you were looking for. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. There we go. I work for the camp, they'll let Boozer stay. All right, yeah, this is where we're going to wrap up the video. Appreciate you all tuning in for another episode of Days Gone. We'll be back for more, uh, so stay tuned. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time. Later.